This video is sponsored by Texas Trophies. Since I made the box and got paid to make the box, and I got paid to make this video to show you, um, yes, Texas Trophies sponsors this video. Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop of Texas Trophies. Um, I am so busy with that chicken coop that I decided to make a video at work of a uh, Master Sergeant an Air Force Master Sergeant Chevron Shadow Box, a retiring Shadow Box for a customer that ordered it. Um, so this is the steps and processes, some of them. Um, I just wanted to put a video out so you guys could watch some woodworking. Um, I have not been able to turn anything at the house because that coop is, is um, really taking my time and it's not like it's a like bought thing where that there's directions and stuff I'm making it up as I go so and then the raccoons have to be it has to be fortified otherwise my chickens will die so this is a bottom rocker of the chevron box that I'm cutting out right now and um, I'm gonna sand it here in a minute and stuff like that but uh and leave me a comment down below if you guys want to see a video of the chicken coop uh, or something like that when it's finished or uh, when it's finished I guess because there isn't going to be anything um, step by step because I've been videoing it alright check this out okay here I'm uh, rounding over the um, edges of the bottom of the chevron um, and, um, and then I'll glue them back up together to give it a double round over uh, right about now. Bam! There's the glue, tight bond, um, and um, this take it just takes a little bit. So I put too much on there right there, and I wiped it off on my favorite desk in the world um, twice. And then, um, so just clamp it up and let it sit for an hour, uh, and uh, it's good. And then the uh, next step. This is a cross cut jig I made to cut the top and the bottom angles of the top stripes of the chevron. Okay, and this part right here is the back box, uh, it's, um, so that the face plate has a has space so you can put the flag and glass and uh, accoutrements of the uniform and stuff like that. And this is me cutting the, cutting it down to size, and and then um, later on I'll be putting a rabbit in it um, coming up. Okay, and this part is not a safe thing to do. Please use your, um, your, your push blocks and stuff like that. Um, working in the shop with three people, sometimes things get misplaced and 
I just need to make this thing, and I should have been more careful. You should be more careful than I am. Please, be careful. Okay, and this is the back box assembly. Um, putting some tight bond on it, and um, using a band clamp to um, pull it together and keep it as square as I could possibly cut it. Um, they, they usually come out really good. It just depends on um, how your measurements and your dyslexic eyes are working that day. But for the most part, they always come out pretty good. Um, and then I'm going to pop it together with some brad nails. Um, and then wh when you see me with a brad nail, uh, brad nailer, um, watch how far my hand is from that actual nailer. Those nails come out all kinds of crooked ways sometimes. And when it gets you in the hand, it will wake you up quickly. And then you cuss some words and all that stuff. So just watch this. Be careful. Sorry about the fan noise. Um, it's hot in there. It's you know it's 100 degrees outside, so inside that shop, and you gotta have the fans on. Here I am um, shaping that um, bottom rocker of the chevron to the side uh, pieces so that they match up, um, and then I will have to um, re-round it over because it flattens that round over out. So that's what I'm doing here. Arts and Crafts Day, every day. Okay, that's an Air Force Master Sergeant Chevron Retirement Shadow Box. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you on the next one.